Emily here with Curate the Details, and today I'm going to be sharing with you gold leafing, one of my concrete items. So let's dive in. All right, so I'm just going to share with you on the screen here the different items that I'm using. I've got gilding adhesive, foam brushes to apply the adhesive, a special gilding brush, a smaller sort of gener generic uh, paint brush. And then I have the gold leaf, gold, gold foil pieces. I will link below to where I purchased these on Amazon. What I'm just showing in the picture here is several of my pieces that I've actually gold foiled. And then I have a gray colored concrete piece. It's like a little holder, great for pens, pencils, keys, glasses, just little decorative items. And I really wanted to spruce this piece up. So I decided to gold foil it. I went ahead and opened a new container of adhesive here. And one thing you'll notice is that the adhesive is a white color. It sort of reminds me of glow in the dark. It has sort of this bluish hue. And once you've applied it and it's dried, it becomes clear and is tacky to the touch. So you know you're ready to gold leaf. When you're applying the adhesive, I've learned to not make it too thick and gloppy because otherwise then the gold leaf goes on thick and it doesn't have a, a thin, smooth feel to it, which is a nice thing to have. So you can see here that I am applying the adhesive all around the rim of my concrete piece because I thought it would be fun to line it. When I'm originally applying the adhesive, I just use cheap foam brushes because they tend to get ruined. And the special gilding brush that I mentioned, I use to actually brush on the gold once it's been applied. And I'll show you here in a second. And here I'm attempting to clean the foam brush to kind of save it a little bit with rubbing alcohol. Um, Sometimes that works, but mostly it just works with brushes and not foam, but I give it a good old try anyways. I've had some struggles with using gold leaf, and because I was going to be lining such a thin area, the rim, I decided to try and cut my gold leaf pieces uh, to make them easier to manipulate. And the one thing that I will note here is because I want my gold leaf to have this nice, smooth finish, uh, I work really hard at applying it evenly uh, and not having like little pinched areas so that it can have a nice smooth finish. Hopefully that makes sense. Because gold leaf is so fragile, it rips and tears easily. And once I've applied it through the whole area, I typically tend to take my finger and sort of tap all the areas because if I couldn't see anything that I missed because it dries clear, then my finger can feel it. And I will just add a tiny amount here and there to wherever it's still tacky. After I've applied the gold leaf, I wait about 10, 15 minutes. And when I come back, I use the specific gold leafing brush that I shared in the beginning. And I use it twofold. I use it to brush away the loose stuff and kind of brush down the gold leaf pieces that need to be pressed down more. This can really be a time intensive process um, because little teeny tiny bits and pieces might not be brushed off right away so it takes a few different tries. I even got creative and tried to turn on the little hand vacuum right next to what I was doing so that it could suck up <laughs> the little loose leaf pieces. It didn't work very well. Oddly, a satisfying part for me is taking the vacuum and cleaning up all the little gold leaf pieces. They get airborne, they get all over the place. So I took a little bit of a break and cleaned. And this is just me using very clean hands to run my fingers all around everything, make sure anything that's loose comes off, make sure that it's totally smooth and flat against it, um, and of course make sure I didn't forget any tacky spots. 
after I finished doing the gold leafing all around the rim, I decided I wanted to have a little bit more on the inside. So this is me just adding a little bit more. Here is the finished product and a couple different pictures holding different items. I'm really happy how it turned out. Thanks for watching. I hope you found that informative or interesting. Drop any comments below that you have and I'll see you next time.